Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got a super crazy awesome unboxing video to share with you guys. This package was sent to me by Polish Custom Knives, which you can kind of tell. Tapes overlapping there. And uh, usually when they send me something, it's extremely epic. I actually saw this knife on both their Instagram uh, and I think just going through uh, their listings on their uh, retail site. If you guys have never checked out Polish Custom Knives, you definitely should. Uh, I'll link them right down below so you guys can check them out. Uh, thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Alrighty, let's go ahead and uh, let's open this box up and see what's in here, shall we? Oh boy, come on. I got to break the official seal or did I already do that? Okay, I already did that. And then that or it was already unsealed. It's, uh, it's heavy and I think it's because, oh wait, so there's that. I think it's because, yeah, this is one of those that comes with the, uh, the special box. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, I couldn't figure out where the opening was there. Ah, uh, yes, we have, uh, all, all Harman knives are special, but some of them are extra special. And the ones that are come with the special display boxes. I keep my knives in a, um, you know, the knife is actually in here. They don't ship it in the box. I keep my knives in a uh, Pelican case with, um, you know, little, uh, like, foam inserts, right? Um, but uh, it's always nice to get the box, right? This guy, like other Herman knives, will come with a tool, which is also not inside of this. Uh, they ship it separately. So, actually, there it is right there. And then we have, oh, boy, what do we have here? We have an Ishtar, number 25 in this series, DLC coated titanium uh that's handle backspacer clip wait it says handle is grade five okay maybe i'm confused about that super dense twist damasteel oh boy let's find out what this crazy thing looks like you know what just i i'm gonna put gloves on i think that's what i'm gonna do hold on give me a second here just feel like that's the right thing to do. And then afterwards, if I want to touch it, mainly because people are always confused why I put on gloves. It's to keep my fingerprints off just for the video. Because you're watching this assuming you bump the quality up to 4K, which means you want all the detail. You probably don't want fingerprints. What? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, man. So, now, wait a second. They said... The model blade, the handle is DLC coated titanium. This is DLC? This is DLC? Why is it gold? <laughs> I thought it was Anno. Oh, man. I'll give you guys a close-up of that texturing here. I guess we could, it looks like a hammered texturing. Beautiful pivot. Beautiful pocket clip. Backspacer. Shut up, complex. Get the blade out. Oh, God, that is just freaking ridiculous. <laughs> oh, man. Let's get that wiped off there. Oh, boy, that is freaking cool. Holy moly. So what? I So this is super something. So this is an Ishtar, which I don't have in my collection. Oh, the detent's perfect on this one. Perfect. So... I want to point this out here real quick. I um, wonder how much of this is like the finish. It's it, it almost like reflects blue. I wonder what happens if we clean that off a little bit of oil. Um, I, you know, in another video, it was actually my micro sting. I said, oh, the detent is so light. I think they should tune these heavier. Those are, they're actually tuned individually. Um, which is something I did not know. I assumed they had the same detent tuning per model. Um, no, I had just experienced some relative consistency between some of the models that I had handled duplicates of. Boy, that was a lot of syllables. Um, and they made sure that everybody knew in my comments, I'm going to make sure and say this again, 
if the D10 is not tuned to your liking, you can send it back to them and they will tune the D10 exactly the way that you prefer uh, that it's tuned. I'm gonna take this glove off, but I'm not sure it's like any tiny little bit of moisture that's on the blade is gonna give it a little bit of that look. I think it's essentially DLC coated Damasteel, but it has a little bit of like bronzy blue reflectivity. I'm still trying to continue to sort of wipe it off there so we can see what the total, like what the actual finish looks like. I think it's probably, maybe I'll just have to let it like sit for a little bit. But man, that is absolutely wild. Twist Damasteel coated for sure. And then they've obviously found a way to polish it, which is probably, you know, the polishing and uh, the uh, DLC coating that's giving it this sort of, you know, the camera, it's I wonder if like the like different lighting will make it look different. This is, this is wild. I don't have anything like this in my collection. In fact, this is the first time I've seen something exactly like this and it is absolutely gorgeous. Let's keep the gloves off because I'm seeing now that my, I was worried that my fingers were going to affect how this looks. I think it's absolutely, absolutely that sort of bluish bronze is just a, um, it's an effect of having a little bit of moisture or oil or something. I bet if I put my fingerprint on it, excuse me, like a, an oily fingerprint will probably give it that sort of hue there. But man, that is just ridiculously good looking. Uh, as is the case with all Herman knives that I've handled, very smooth right out of the box. Really, really nice flipping action. I wouldn't change this at all. Just absolutely stunning. I love how they um, actually extended that finish to the pocket clip. I am really, really curious. I, I'm going to have to ask them or maybe they can pop in Polish custom knives. You guys can pop in and tell me this. I, I legitimately just assumed that this was like a gold anno um, on the scales, but it says DLC coated titanium for the handle backspacer and clip, unless that's just incorrect. But it doesn't look like, it doesn't look like Anno. I thought DLC was always black. <laughs> Is there some secret that I don't know about? I, I have no idea. I've, I've never seen anything like that. Titanium liner there. Oh man, absolutely glorious. Should we get out some other Herman Spicy Boys just to... We're gonna do some size comparisons and then I'm also gonna get out some of the other crazy ones that I've acquired. I actually have three other crazy ones. Another example of like a black, like a DLC. This is different. I mean, these are two different finishes of Damasteel and two different types of Damasteel on these blades. Really wild. So we have the micro sting. We of course have the slim. And let's scoot these up here. Then we also have the dragonfly. So you can get a good look. So the Ishtar, interesting, is actually a little shorter. Just a no? Are they the same? No, it's just a little bit shorter. If we get the handles exactly lined up, it's just a little bit shorter than um, the uh, than the sting there. Wow, magnificent. I'm a huge fan of, um, I'm a huge fan of uh, Herman knives, <laughs> if you can't tell. Uh, as I've stated before, you don't have to get ultra custom versions of these. In fact, one of my Hermans is upstairs because, is it the other micro? Or is that one right here? Maybe the micro, I have another little sting somewhere but i also have some plain jane versions this one on the left here is a sting one on the right is a dragonfly this guy i carry all the time huge fan i have i have one more where is it come on guy is it here oh there it is i got another micro sting right here which i also carry periodically can we fit we just put that little guy right there i think maybe 
Uh, yeah, gigantic fan of Herman Knives. Uh, you can always, you know, periodically, I say always, you can periodically find absolutely wild versions of these knives if that's what you're looking for on, on Polish Custom Knives. And then the standard ones, you know, you can find almost all the time, uh, all the different models. Very cool. All right. I think that's going to be about it. Like I said, Herman Knives will link down, uh, be linked down below. Really cool. Very happy with this one. You guys will actually get a review of this knife. I don't think I have reviewed the Ishtar, the Ishtar yet, um, but uh, expect to see a full comprehensive review uh, in the near future if it is the case that I have not reviewed it. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Can we focus? If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.